Hello. Ever since I saw this card after it was revealed, I wanted to make it work. And the community's first reaction was okay, it copies Conkeldurs 250, and that's a lot of damage. But I want to find every possible partner that is at least viable. So I'm going to start with Brilliant Stars, trying to find possible Pokemons that do more than 250 or have a unique enough effect on their attack that you maybe want to use it alongside Conqueror. So, Executor. It's not good enough. 70, 30 heal. It's not good enough. Realm. It's not good enough. Now, Torterra does 50 for each evolution Pokemon in play. Uh, your evolution Pokemon in play. That's a damage you can control. Now, you need to have 6 evolution Pokemon to do more than Conkholder's 250. Will you have 6 evolution Pokemon in play? In the best case scenario, you'll probably have Slowkings, you probably have Zatos, and then you probably have Rapska for Bands Protection. You can't use Manaphy, you can't use Rashi, so you use Rapska to increase your evolution Pokemon in play. Is that good? I don't know. Is it 300 damage? Yes. And your bench is protected. But you need a full bench, you need a full setup. And it's a possible 30 damage, the 300 damage. So it's an option. It goes up there. Wormadam, 30 plus 10 for each Pokemon in your discard pile. I don't think you'll have enough Pokemon to do 250, so skip. Forty, ninety. I don't think this is good enough. With Infernape, you need four energies on the top cards, top five cards of your deck. No, <laughs> I don't think so. Now Lapras, it's a basic, and the problem that it's a basic, it it ruins your consistency. There will be games where this is your only basic in your opening hand, and it will ruin your setup. Now, is it worth it to run Lapras, and because you run a basic that you want to copy the attack, is it worth to use pennies and turos? I think so. There is Kieran from Charlotte Fable that is a basic, but the attack is very good. Is this attack from the Lapras very good? I think so. 110 plus para if it was knocked out. If you were knocked out uh, previous turn, okay. Um, it's a Paralyze, and Paralyze is good. And I'm going to put it as a viable option. We'll see. Pair on a coin flip, pair on a coin flip. Empoleon the 60 um, snipes. Is that good? I don't think so. I don't think it's enough. It's good to have a snipe. I don't know if it's outclassed in future expansions, but 60, I don't think it's enough. This card is balanced because of the ability, but the attack itself, I don't think it's good enough. Because this isn't a stage 2, it's a, 
it's be it's balanced around the abilities so this attack isn't as good as it could be now flotsel put two cards two items from your discard into your hand i believe this attack is outclassed um from Ursaluna but I'm going to put it up there and when we get to Ursaluna I'm going to put Ursaluna up there and then forget about Flotsam still two item cards from your discard into your hand is a good effect and I consider it as a good option now Bear Trick during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't attack. That's a good text to have. You do 40. That's not a lot. I don't know how many bear tricks do you use. But the defending Pokemon can't attack. It may get you enough time. People don't run a lot of switches. So this i think it's enough to buy you time because you do 40 and then you use concolders 250 that means you do 290 which is enough damage to ko something like a dragapult uh, uh, it's not dragapult it's uh, regi draco Regidraco's 280. Yeah. 290, 290, it's some damage that be may be worth considering. So I think this attack is it's good. I don't know how many bear tricks do you use, but it's there. Now Electrovia. 50 to all of your opponent's Pokemon. That's a lot. But the opponent runs Manaphy. Maybe you use Sloking and Frostloss. But if you use Sloking and Frostloss to kill the Manaphy, you can't use that. Okay. So maybe you use Boss and Cologne. And that's enough for the Manaphy. No, it's not enough, because it only does 50. I don't know. But this attack does a lot to your opponent's Pokémon, and I think it's at least worth considering uh, to have. Because it softens up other Pokémon from your opponent. Uh, vanilla, coin flip... Okay. 50 for each energy attached. Your opponent needs to have 6 energies for you to do 300 and do more than Concluders 250. Is that viable to expect your opponent to have a lot of energy in play? There are some decks that want to. Regidraco wants to set up 2 Regidracos. That's 300 damage. I don't know the future decks that will be viable, but it may be worth considering. Now, would you rather have Luxray or Torterra to do 300 damage? That's up to you. <laughs> Both have their upsides and downsides. I am more inclined on the Luxray due to the 350, 400 damage you can do, but I think that's asking a lot. And Torterra, you can control if you do 300 or not. So it's up there. Maybe Luxray will be the more viable. We'll see. Clefable, flip coins, I guess. Evolves. I, I'm not sure. I, no, I'm not sure. No, it's it's not going up there. Starmie is outclassed by Luxray. Not a good attack. Not a good attack. Vanilla. D 
these are basics this card is in it's not in standard okay flygon 50 for each retreat cost in your opponents active pokemon most pokemon that have a lot of retreat costs they have four that's 200 if you use spidops i guess two spidops you do 300 will you use spidops with sat and sloking probably not i think this is a skip now wormadam does 80 plus the pokemon can't retreat and I think this is a good tech to have and a good option. 80 softens up a lot of Pokemon to then do 250 or then use Clefables 50 damage and if you KO with that 50 it's K uh, one more prize so I think this is a good option to buy you time. Boss up a 2 prizer boss up a 2 prizer and then I, I think this is good enough I, I think it's usable uh, discard fighting 30 plus 10 more damage in for each card I don't think you're gonna have enough cards 90 plus confusion and poison okay I believe this is attack this attack is very annoying and will be good in the scenarios to buy you time soften up some EXs I think it's a good option I don't know if it's outclassed by a future Pokemon probably is but this is a good uh, this is a good attack to soften up and annoy your opponent it goes up there. Okay. Weavile, uh, flip two coins. Okay, I don't think this is good. Now, I like to flip coins, but it needs to have a good effect after flipping heads. Um, 30 for each darkness energy. We're not going to use it. Again, Wormadams. Power pass, I don't think. Heatran. 90 plus 30 snipe, I don't think it's good enough. No. 160. 160. Not enough. Okay. Start after, I think it's a good option. Your opponent shuffles their active Pokemon and all attached cards into their deck. You use it on a Pokemon that used Rare Candy, for example, or any stage 2 for that matter, and it's gonna make them waste a lot of time. Or you're gonna use it on a Regi uh, Regidraco, yeah. They used 1, 2 energy switches make them use another two make them use all of their energy switches make them set up again and I think it will buy you time maybe it's a uh, one copy in the deck but I think this effect will buy you time and be a good effect to have Coin flip, uh, 150. Okay, so I think these are all the options that are viable in Brilliant Stars. Maximum 300, depends on your build. It's a basic, but 100 plus para, you are knocked out. You are a one prizer. We will <laughs> you will be knocked out almost every turn, so this will always be active at least i believe this is outclassed but still two item cards don't usually come back to your hand 
this is a good text and will soften up a bit so it's worth considering 52 each of your opponent's Pokemon it's a lot of damage if they have Manaphy don't use this attack or deal with Manaphy first 50 for each energy is good depends on your deck the opponent is playing but I mean it's possible to do 300 or more War Madam, I believe it will buy you time you boss up some two prizer that sits on the bench it's 80 90 plus Conkeldur will guarantee you knock out everything plus the confusion and poison will buy you time so you use first 90 and then 250 and then Staraptor will buy you time and will make your opponent set, set up again so I believe it will be also a good option um, so yeah these are the options that I found in Brilliant Stars I want to do the other expansions so yeah thank you for watching